Hello everybody, Dragon Rider Jack here with a new LP, and it is a PS3 LP, which is why I'm on my PS3 screen, go figure. And yeah, with that, I'm not going to do anything. It is infamous. What up, what up? Uh, let's look at this for a second. Let's see, yep. Yeah. Just so everyone knows, right off the bat, I'm going to be doing a good karma run on hard. So, let's fire up the game. First time I'm playing it on my new PS3 since my old one broke. So, I don't have any saved data of this game, even though I platinumed it. Took away all of my trophies. Well, all of my saved data. But yeah, all of my trophies. Turn down the volume a little bit. Sucker Punch, they made the Sly Cooper games. Okay. Good stuff. Right. Wasn't it just a 23%? Okay. It's done installing, I guess. Though not really. Yes, it is done installing. All right. That was not nearly as long as I thought it would take. All right. And, hmm, look at this. Hmm. Best coffee in town, you say? There's a person walking on the screen. All I can do is push start what? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, so I, start, I made a new account for PSN, so I'm going to be getting, like, every trophy as they pop up, kind of. Uh, this first recording session isn't going to be ridiculously long. And all the... I don't know if everyone knows about the game, but they do cutscenes with, um... Like, comic strips Activation with Cole. Plus six minutes. Pulse is 45. Respiration 10. Looking good, Cole. Main character, Cole. With him, uh... It's comic book scenes, and they're actually copyrighted, so I'm going to be... Editing them out, but not really editing them out. Oh God! I'm gonna do something, and you'll see in the video what I'm gonna do. It's gonna take me a while, and uh, I'm actually even I'm gonna edit out Cole's voice as he reads it, just because I figured they might filter for copyright based on that. All right, yeah. Before you do that, options. First, we want subtitles on. We want difficulty hard, normal, normal, faster is good. Heads up display. Yep. All right. That's all good. You have to, if you want to get the hard run trophy, you have to switch it here, like in this sort of first mission thing. And just to make sure it's saved. All right. Hey, wave up if you can hear me. And then, if you can walk, get out of there. Telling you how to do stuff. I can't walk yet. Yeah. Hey, you. Please. In the garage. Oh my God. I didn't really want to turn. Oh, whatever. That's right. Come on, Cole. Move. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay. Whoa, whoa. 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 Him. Ow. Alright, you know what? Actually, I'm going to change one thing. Vert. Horizontal. No, I don't want it inverted. Did I do that by accident? Yes, I did. Awesome. Alright. So you follow the path. Come on, man. Pick up. I actually don't think. Oh, this is the way. Push X to jump. Zeke is his best friend. Now shut up, Zeke. No one likes you. Walk over here. And what the hell? Should be dead. Yeah, but you're not. You're also bald, which is weird. Oh my god! Hop on this thing and jump across. Right now, this is an area where you'll be coming back to way later in the game. Uh, but you don't go right away. You don't come back right away. Like, this isn't the first area of the game where you're playing in right now. Uh, I decided I was going to do this. I've been wanting to do Infamous for a long time. I was going to do side-by-side -side with V-Dog 565, but everything, all this crap broke. 
So, uh... If you're able to walk, please evacuate across the bridge to the Neon. Remain calm. Uh, I decided to just go ahead and do it. I couldn't, like, I didn't really want to wait. Infamous 2 is coming out, so I thought now would be a perfect time to do Infamous 1. I'm going to be picking up Infamous 2. Cool. Over here, man. We gotta go. Yes, we do, Zeke. We have to go. Ah, no. Yeah, I decided to do Infamous no. right before Infamous no. 2, because I'm going to be playing Infamous 2 like a lot, because Infamous is probably my favorite piece to the exclusive, actually. I know everyone loves Uncharted, I know I love Nine Dog, Jack and Dax, and everything. But, uh, yeah, this, what you're doing right now, you do not get this power right away. Just, uh, to be forewarned about that. You might think you would, but no. The sun is out. That was actually pitch black. Oh, no. And here's what I have to edit out. Yeah. Loading screen, yeah. Good stuff. Anyway, I decided to do Infamous 1, because I want to play through it again and get it fresh in my head before Infamous 2 comes out. While sliding into unconsciousness, I could somehow, I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister. Almost lost me. Zeke was always there. Somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft, rapes, civilization committing suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city, and we were stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. You gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it, master it. Just hope it's not too late. Well, I hope you enjoyed what I did. What I'm playing, I'm doing. I hope it works out. If not, then I'm gonna look like a big ass retard. Uh, why is there like? Why is it not the whole screen? It better just be for cutscenes. That's not the whole screen. Cause I'm gonna be pissed. I, I hate when it's not the whole TV. screen. Uh, batteries are dead again. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. I'm glad it's good for something. I probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. Yeah, point of interest sometimes will come up telling you to look at something. I'll be looking at all the stuff that you need. Uh, just fire it a couple times. Yeah, alright. Alright, stop it. Alright, and you can fry the crap out of these dummies if you want. But yeah, L1 aim, this red uncle comes up. You hit R3, and you'll switch hands. Useful in battle a lot. And R1 to shoot electricity, that's all you really have right now. Try frying those dummies over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you're packing. Yeah! Lay into it, man! Throw those suckers! I'm gonna try and keep the the parts uh, pretty short, except for some special, uh, like, when I get, when I, there's stuff to collect in this game, I'm gonna be getting all of them, and you'll know I get all of them because I'm gonna get the trophy, and it's gonna appear on, on your screen on YouTube. Did I not fry enough of them? There we go. All right. Whoa. You see that? Flying so low, thought it was gonna crash into us. I like to hold this down just to watch it, because it goes off in the distance and literally disappears. Hey, it's a TV jacker. I love this guy. This guy's gonna uh, be on the TV a lot, and I, you always, whenever you walk past the TV, a point of interest will pop up. I'll be showing all those that I that I run into. I'll probably run into all of them, but just so everyone knows. Show up. Voice of survival out. 
Told you they drop food. All right, so we're getting our first mission. Out of your mind. You think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. That isn't gonna stop you from digging. Moves pretty fast. Everything. It's all about parkour, kind of like Assassin's know, Creed and Uncharted. Zeke's gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. Ah, man, you get to have all the fun. Right, so something cool about this game is that Cole does not take fall damage at all, thanks to his powers somehow. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoo! Well, you can see a bunch of people knock down the jump, street. You can help man. them later. And helping them, you get a trophy. Like I'll probably be doing that off screen stairs. because you gotta yeah, do, I think, uh, like hey, two Cole, or three hundred of them. Oh, good, it is filmed off screen. Just noticed that now. That was badass. The second you touch Zeke runs weird as hell. Maybe because he's fat. Off the gun powder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> he runs slower than you too, so it, it's always a problem. Ooh, just jumped off that guy's head, just like Mario style. Which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, what I did, uh, I went to like Photoshop and I made the pictures that showed up that played the little cutscene so that uh, you guys got the whole story. Because otherwise I was gonna have to like blur it or edit it out and just read that story. And I'm probably gonna, I think I, what I'm planning on doing, it'll probably be done by, it'll be done by the time I, this goes up, but I'll probably be reading Cole's words just in case they filter for that specific cutscene for a copyright, because I don't really, I really don't want to get a copyright infringement uh, mark on my account, because then they take away your unlimited time, you know, and it, it's just, it's just a pain in the ass, it's a huge pain in the ass, so. While he's fumbling around, and I don't know exactly what part they copyrighted. They could have just copyrighted the images, but they could have copyrighted like just the whole thing, any part of it being used. So I'm just gonna read you what Cole says, basically, and I'll do a really shitty Cole voice for you. Bummer, we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius. Something else uh, I'm gonna be. I might as well talk about while he's. Come on. He told me he was gonna leave it under a car. Oh. I figured there'd be only one. Well, first off. Stand back. I, I saw it. I can see it, but whatever. You push X, that's one of your powers. And yep, gets the gun. With our electrical powers, we can't drive cars. And uh, we can't hold guns or they explode. But I mean, you never get a chance to see. Hang on a second. Push L2. While you do that, you can find electricity on the map. You push L2 to suck up the electricity from a source. And you kind of have unlimited because you can do this, and then those electrical bolts don't take electricity, uh, electrical cores from up top, which I'll explain in a minute. But you can just charge up a battery source that you just drained and drain it again, so you basically can always get back from one source. Hey, babe. I think TVs might not do it. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna be taking part of a new channel. I'll probably put a link to it. It's a group channel started by a couple of guys. I am the oldest by far, but, you know, it's the group that I've friended on YouTube, and they're cool people, so it doesn't matter that they're younger than me. You jumped off a building. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I couldn't... Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. Amy was, uh, Amy's her sister. And she's uh, Cole's girlfriend, Zeke's his best friend. Zeke's kind of a conspiracy theory nut, you know. He's a weird dude. God, way to juke me, you douche. So I'm probably going to take care of this first mission and then call it apart. The first part's going to be longer than normal. Because I've been explaining stuff. And the battery cores, when you use powers, like, they won't always drain the whole thing like it did in the cutscene. Well, it's stuck up there. Well, not the cutscene, but in the little scripted event of moving the car. But that was just a... That, that was just really free. to show you how to do his powers. Point of interest, yeah, yeah, there's food things up there. Alright. And you can get more battery cores, you do get more powers. I'll explain all that, like, when it comes up. Uh, he'll automatically grab onto stuff. Uh, gotta grab this one right here. I've played through this game three times already, so I pretty much know everything that I'm doing. Uh, he'll automatically grab onto stuff, he'll automatically look for stuff to grab onto, he'll automatically, like, sink onto the railings and stuff. 
And there's all right, yeah, the rusty thing. I'm not gonna look at every point of interest, yeah, goddamn it. We are eating. And that's the that's the first thing, and it, the first car point's gonna come up, so we're getting a lot done in this first little you know introduction part. Damn, too late. That's where I caught my first sight. The Reapers. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now they own the Neon District, taking whatever they want. That changes today. So yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Do this. You don't really want to hurt innocent people, otherwise you can get to the the bad karma side. And you want to head shock these guys. Head shocks you better. Red red blips on the map are my enemies. There's clearly another guy. They have guns. Dang, those freaks are brutal. That's where that's where switching comes in handy. The reticle is uh, actually smaller on hard. And the XP you're getting is to upgrade powers later on. I don't need to shockwave it. Uh, whoa! You almost ran right in front of my, right in front of me. Stop running right in front of me! Oh my God! They have death wishes. It's chow time. A lot of food here. Enough to feed the three of us. This isn't copyrighted. This little part. From what I've heard so far, so I'll leave this in. If I get a copyright from this after doing the the Photoshop editing and stuff, I'll be so pissed. Starve. Yeah, you can. Yeah, if you kill, if you shoot an electrical bolt at all, it'll chase them away, and then you get bad karma. If you just uh, let them do whatevs for a while, let's eat. You get a good action. Yeah, good reputation. The good power you get, because you get a different power for being good or bad. The good power is not as good as the bad power, but, you know, whatever. Your karmic state is tracked on the curved blue and red meter on the top left corner of the screen. Evil actions such as hurting pedestrians give you evil karma. Conversely, good actions give you good karma. Your karmic state determines how people react to your available power upgrades and your appearance. Oh yeah, and the upgrades are different. I might explain each of both sides. Uh, hey, Trish. As I explain the oh, upgrades so and stuff. I'm so glad you got the food down. These poor people are starving. Just doing what I can. Someone had to help them. Those idiots dropped us canned prunes. Now who the hell want to eat this crap? <laughs> take a look at this, Empire City. The plot you're seeing was taken by security camera near Hey, Brown Cole! Zero. They're up on the big screen! Our city, our lives. Someone from your family died? Well, now you know who to blame. If you know anything about this guy, let me know. Because we're going to get the word out on this terrorist. Whoever he is, we're going to make him pay. Oh, shit. Ever been called a terrorist? All I remember from that day is going to work and then running for my life. That video, though. How'd I get that package? Why would I deliver a bomb? Oh, who? Regardless. The consequences are everywhere. Whatever there'd been between Trish and me was gone. She didn't say a word. No emotion, nothing, just walked away. By then, people nearby were starting to recognize me. It was gonna get ugly. Even Zeke was giving me weird looks. He and I made quick plans to meet up at Stampton Bridge. Try to get out of town. Just hope he shows. It's right now. I'm a little short on friends. All right. Um, yeah, zero stunts. I'll explain stunts later and everything. Uh, yeah, people don't actually start to react to you bad right away or anything like it said in the in the thing. Um, that's gonna be it. All right. Yeah, they started to react to me bad. Awesome. The hell away from me. So I'll show climbing and then call it apart. You can get on top of the. Wow. How are they? So they have such good aim. And you just gotta keep pushing X to climb. It's not like Assassin's Creed where you push up. You just keep pushing X, which is a lot faster. Uh, listen, man, I'm almost to the bridge. Awesome. Since everyone here hates your guts, we gotta get out of town. Only for this call to be done, and then I'll call it park because I'm at 20 minutes. There. Zeke, thanks for watching my back. <laughs> sure, man. 
I ain't about to do anything that might piss you off. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> That's right, you bitch. Alright, and you can see an icon on the map, but uh, we'll take care of that in the next part. I'm going to try and limit these parts, try and keep them around 15 minutes. I'll probably all go to like 20 minutes or something. The missions can get pretty long, so it might end up being like a mission per part, you know, with a little bit of exploration. I'll be getting every blast shard. That'll be part of the main, uh, main LP. There are side missions, which will probably be part of... A, but which will be bonus bonus videos because they're pretty repetitive and I don't know I'll just show like but they're all on the map so they're easy to find and you can set waypoints and I'll explain everything later but for right now thanks everybody for watching I will see everybody next time on part two of Let's Play Infamous.